Yes, you read that title right. I made over $20,000 doing what I love in my last year of high school while still balancing my busy life, and I'm gonna show you how to do exactly the same. But before we get to that, I just want you to take a second with me and just close your eyes and just picture something with me here. I want you to picture yourself waking up feeling amazing from the sleep that you just had and just feeling excited about your day. You get to go to work today, but you're not working at your regular job. You're not working at even a job for someone else. You get to spend the entire day doing the thing that you love most in this world. You wake up and you're so excited that you rush through your morning routine just so that you can get to your work. And the thing about this is the best part is you are getting paid a ton of money to do what you love and you feel extremely fulfilled because of it. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be on the right track to achieving that kind of life. My name is Colby Wallace and I'm helping people all over the world make money doing what they genuinely love. About two and a half years ago, when I was 16 years old, there was nothing more that I wanted than to be able to travel the world. See, at this time, COVID and everything had kind of started to settle down a little bit and the world was starting to open up again. And a dream that I'd had since I was a little kid was to travel the world. And I thought doing an exchange and becoming an exchange student was gonna be the way that I could do that. So my 16 year old self, all excited and everything, went online to look how much it costs to do an exchange. And the place in particular that I wanted to go was Australia. And I looked on the Canadian website, I can't remember what it was called for, how, where you set up an exchange and everything. And the price that I saw almost made me <laughs> my pants because for six months, for a six month exchange, it was gonna cost me $15,000 just to pay this company to set everything up. I don't know exactly what all that included. I know it didn't include flights and stuff like that, but $15,000 just to go for six months. And at this point, that dream kind of was crushed, at least for the time being. And I didn't know how I was gonna make this happen, but I still had the dream. Fast forward two and a half years now to the current day, about a week and a half ago, I just got back from traveling Australia and New Zealand for the past three months. I'd spent three months traveling around, backpacking through, playing music, making videos, and just meeting a bunch of people from around the world. And I finally got to live out that dream. And in September of 2024, I'm gonna be taken off on another trip to Southeast Asia, Thailand in particular, to see another part of the world and continue this dream of traveling the world. Now, back when I was that 16 year old kid thinking about how I was gonna make this happen, I had no clue how I was gonna do it because I kind of did the calculations in my head and just making money working at a regular job, I was gonna be able to travel but I would still have, like I'd have a lot of debt from flights and credit cards and stuff like that because it just wasn't possible unless I got like four jobs to work and make the amount of money that I was gonna need to while still focusing on school and everything to be able to travel the world. Now the thing is about this trip, when I got back to Canada, I still had plenty of money in my bank account and I'm still making a bunch more just as soon as I got back. And the one thing that allowed me to make enough money to travel the world was simply doing the thing I love which is playing music. I made the majority of my money that I spent to travel the world playing music and doing music work as a gigging drummer and an online musician. I was able to make over $20,000 from the age of 17 to 18 just playing music. Just playing music, I made far more money than I did ever working at a regular job while I was still in school, while I was still playing sports, and while I still was keeping up with my social life. And I was able to make a whole bunch of money just from my hobby. And the thing was, I'd always been in love with music. I'd always loved to write songs and create. And when I got into it, I didn't think that would be the thing that would allow me to travel the world. But once I started doing some research and started looking for some opportunities, I realized that the money that I wanted to make to be able to travel wasn't gonna come from a regular job. I would be able to make that if I was willing to put in the work and work super hard. I was gonna be able to do that at music through a combination of online work and also playing gigs and doing studio sessions and stuff like that. And the thing is, if you're anything like me, you probably have a hobby or something that you genuinely love. You have this thing that means so much to you in your life. And I'm guessing that if the opportunity was there, you would love to learn how to make money, potentially get the opportunity to travel or just 
pay for a bunch of stuff and not have the stress to work a regular job, just all from doing your hobby. I'm sure that's gonna appeal to you, being able to make money doing what you love. And the thing is, I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. Now, I'm gonna be 100% transparent here, and I am gonna say that I am selling a paid community with this video. I run a paid community that teaches everyone who joins how to make money with their unique hobby, their unique purpose, and teaches you the exact step-by-step -step framework that I use to be able to make money with music still in high school and make a decent amount of money at a very young age while still balancing the other aspects of my life. And if you're not interested in that, then you should just click off the video. I'm just going to say it because I'm going to be breaking down the step-by-step -step process that I went through in this video so that once you join the community, you will know the exact step-by-step -step process that you'll need to be successful in there. Now, if you're already ready to get going and you're ready to start making money with what you actually love, scroll down, click the top link in the description to join that community. Now, this video is going to take you through the five-step process that I used to start making money through music. And the thing is, everyone wants the answers about how do I make money? What do I need to do? But the thing is, there's a lot of stuff that comes before that that is extremely important. Now, every step that I'm going to tell you is where I made progress. Obviously, there was like a little bit of stuff that I did in between these, but these are the major steps that I've condensed down so that you don't have to spend the time, like the years of wasted time that I did trying to learn how to make money doing what you love. Because I started trying to make money with music at the age of 15, and I didn't make my first dollars until I was 17. So it took me about two two good years to learn how to do this. But once I started getting on the right track and once I got to 17, I was able to just jump on that train and start making like thousands of dollars a month playing music. So every step that I go through in this video is covered and has its own unique course inside of the academy that I mentioned before. So the first step is to find your authentic purpose or whatever your hobby is right now. But the important aspect about this is that you pick something that you genuinely enjoy and is genuinely genuinely applicable to your life. Because if you're trying to make money doing something that you don't authentically love, then it's no better than just working a regular job. It's no better than just starting one of these other business models where you, yes, you can make a lot of money, but there's not really any fulfillment that comes from this. I want you to know exactly what is right for you. And the steps that I break down actually make sure that you're finding what is right for you, not just what someone else has told you to do, not just what makes money at this time. The course is actually breaking down how you can find your authentic purpose or the task that gives you the most fulfillment, how a purpose or like a hobby or the thing that's genuinely right for you is going to do something which is called putting you in a flow state. This means when you do it, you're like you're an athlete in the zone where you don't really think about it. You're just doing it and time kind of just passes by. You're not worried about the future. You're not like regretting the past. You can just do it and you're you don't really have any thoughts in your mind. You can just enjoy the moments while you do it. And this is a really big thing that comes for me with music. It's that aspect of performance and just that adrenaline rush you get on the stage or writing. It's just kind of getting in that flow where you're like, you don't really know where it comes from. You just do it. That's what your purpose will give to you. And that's how you know what's right for you. Now, the second and probably in my opinion, the most important step in terms of making money with your purpose or your hobby, which is like, you obviously have to have your hobby first, but this is like one of the major things that the people who skip will never be successful. And this is improving your mindset. Now, for me, this took about two years. It took about two years of solid self-development, reading, listening to other influences, and just getting my mind right and getting in the frame of mind to actually be successful making money. Because there's a lot of people out there who are more technically skilled at music than me. There are a lot of people out there who are more technically skilled at YouTube than me, but I know that I, one, work a lot harder and two, work a lot smarter than a lot of those people, even if they have more technical skill, because I know what matters and I know the mindsets behind success. And that's one of the reasons why I believe I have been able to achieve so much success in so many different aspects, whether it comes to YouTube or music or athletics or academics. In my final year of high school, while I was making a bunch of money at music, I competed at three different sports at the provincial level between basketball, soccer, and cross country running while also competing in weightlifting, powerlifting, and still doing a bunch of other sports. And I believe a lot of the success that I've been able to achieve in these things comes down to the mindsets that I've learned and developed on this journey. And that's what I break down in the second course within that academy. Now, the third step in terms of making money doing what you love is learning how to actually properly practice your skill and how to be more productive than 99% of your competition. Because in reality, 
in my last year of high school, I did a lot of things. I was playing like a bunch of different sports. I was still gigging with multiple different bands, doing work online and still taking like music classes and learning different instruments and stuff and also still being in school full time. So I was doing a lot of different things and people would always ask me, how do you have time for all this? And my answer would always be, we all have the same amount of time. I'm just more efficient at getting shit done with mine and I know what works well. And I've learned over these years of practice and stuff how to actually get work done productively. I upload a video every single week on this channel and I can record seven videos, get them all done and edited and the thumbnails and everything within one morning from about like 7 a.m. to about like 12 30 p.m. I can finish recording editing and everything for this YouTube channel now obviously there's some things that I have like other people help me with and I don't like do like super super crazy edits or anything but I can still be highly efficient with this work on this channel so I can have time to still do the music and everything while reaping the benefits of this work because there's some people who will spend a whole morning or days or days or days just thinking if their idea is good enough to post on YouTube and once you've learned the concept of deep work and everything that goes into being productive, you will progress so much faster than you ever thought you possibly could. Now, the fourth step and one that I really struggled with was learning the social skills and the networking aspect that comes from being able to make money doing what you love. If I didn't have the connections to the bands and to the musicians that I do, I wouldn't really be making all that much money playing music. And the thing that got me playing right away was because I'm a drummer. And where I'm from, there's a bunch of guitar players there's a bunch of singers and everyone is always looking for a drummer to play with them and there's a lot of drummers here that are better than me but the thing was once these musicians started to kind of take notice to me and I started playing with some other people they started to take notice that I was just really hard working and that I got along with a lot of these musicians and a lot of other people in this music scene whereas a lot of other people have beef with different groups and they don't necessarily want to play with everyone and obviously I'm very grateful that a lot of these people gave me the opportunities but I also think Think the social skills and everything that I've learned on this journey have been extremely valuable because honestly I used to be one of the worst speakers and like so insecure like talking to new people was the thing that scared me the most but through work on my social skills and through the step-by-step -step process that I break down in the full social skills and networking guide that you get inside of the academy you'll be able to transform from the insecure person who has no confidence if that's what you're like and go to the person who people are coming for or can go seek out opportunities to make money doing what they love for themselves. And now for the final step is actually the framework of how to monetize your skill. Now in this community, I break down two different ways that I have made money doing what I love. The first is how to become a freelancer. So this is what I've done with music and how to like work for other people basically, how to get set up your profiles online and everything, how to do direct outreach. And then depending on what your purpose is, how you can make money in real life as well. And the second way is how to grow an audience and how to start making money online through social media, whether it be TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. Basically what I do with this channel, I break down exactly how to do that step-by-step step so that you can start growing your social media following and making money and actually having an impact on the community and actually being able to help whatever group of people that you're looking to help and actually place an impact on the lives of others that you want to support. Now in this community, like I said, you have access to those full five courses, but you also get access to three weekly calls with me where I break down separate different things. And I'm also going to be doing a bunch of individual calls when everyone joins, just kind of getting to know you guys and breaking down and seeing how I can help you best because I'm just starting this community now so I don't know exactly what everyone else is going to need but I can tell you that I'm extremely excited to do this because if there's anything that had changed my life it was being able to do what I love and being able to get the benefits for it like I said in the beginning playing music and making money is like it gives me so much fulfillment but it also allowed me to travel and like see other parts of the world and fulfill that dream that I had like since I was like I, I remember being like five six years old and wanting to like go over to Europe and travel and like see Australia and stuff and hearing like my parents stories about when they traveled and now I've finally been able to do that just because I was able to make money playing music and just turning this thing that I thought was going to be my hobby and just like something I did on the side to making a lot of money for my age. Now, with all of this being said, you're probably wondering how much does it actually cost to get into this academy? Well, the original price that I sold this academy with the same courses and everything for 
was a one-time payment of $500. And then every month after that, it costs a hundred more dollars to stay in. And the thing is, I'm not going to sell it to you for that price right now, because I want everyone who wants to join to be able to afford it. But the thing is, if I were to sell it to you for that price, it would still be worth it. Cause think about it. I'm teaching you how to make money doing what you love. And even if you paid that price, I teach you how to make that money back and more and keep making that so that investment it keeps paying off even with that price to join this community it doesn't cost you 500 bucks a month it doesn't cost you 200 it doesn't even cost you 100 dollars a month you can join this community right now today for just 49 dollars a month if you're ready to get started then scroll down click the top link in the description to join our community and all of this you get for $49 a month. And I'm also going to be adding a new course every single month of the year. You pay $49 a month access to all these courses, calls, the community posts and everything for $49 a month. Now, the thing is, it might kind of seem like scary and kind of be risky, like, oh, $49 a month. That kind of seems like a lot. But think of it like this. How much is it worth to you to be able to make money doing what you love? To me, I that's worth the world. I literally spent like thousands of dollars on music gear and courses and everything, learning how to make money, doing what I love. And I was able to do it and reap the benefits. It wasn't a cost to me at that point. It was an investment. I was putting money, investing into myself and into my future so that I could make more money doing what I love in the future with those skills. And it all paid off because I made all that money back and a lot more because I got to travel the world and like doing all these other things and it's continuously paying me forward. And the thing that I believe has separated me from a lot of the people that I was playing music with in school who were better musicians than me, more like smarter than me and had like all had a lot more skill than me. The thing that has allowed me to do what I've wanted to and accomplish my dreams has just been that I'm willing to take action. I'm willing to when I see an opportunity, take it. And the thing is, if you want to be successful, you have to be willing to take the opportunity. Hard work isn't going to be enough because you can work as hard as you want. But if you're not willing to take those opportunities and to take action with your skills, then you're never going to progress. And the people who don't take action are never going to see the benefits that they want. And they're going to be wondering why versus the people who once they start to take action, they're going to see progress so much faster, even though they're going to regress and it feels kind of painful at times, they're going to make so much more progress than the people who never take action in the beginning. So if you haven't yet, scroll down, click the top link in the description to join our community. Now, with that being said, I don't have much more to say in this video, except that I can't wait to see you guys in that community. And I can't wait to see all the progress that you're going to make. All right, I'll see you there. Goodbye.